The State Board of Education met this afternoon and drew quite the crowd. Most of the conversation leaned toward Tulsa Public Schools and its new superintendent. But as News 9's Matt McCabe tells us, State Superintendent Ryan Walters has big plans for 2024. Today's meeting for the State Board of Education went for a few hours and during it, Superintendent Walters announced that there's going to be a number of changes coming to Oklahoma's schools in the new year. Recent days have brought new challenges for Oklahoma State Superintendent Ryan Walters. It brings to mind a man named Donald Trump. There are many causing major distractions for him right now. And uh, the more they come after him, the more popular he becomes. But Walter says a subpoena issued by members of the State House and another lawsuit against the department aren't worth discussing. Really excited today to be ending DEI in our classrooms, to be ending drag queens in the schools, and to be getting a focus back on the basics. And you see passing a, a new rural charter school in the state, it's very, very exciting. So I'd love to, to focus on that, and I'm happy to answer any questions about that, but I've dealt with the with the other story for the last couple of days. In its meeting on Thursday, the State Board of Education committed itself to introducing a number of new administrative rules. Those rules would target DEI at the K-12 through level in a similar way to an order issued last week by Oklahoma's governor for institutes of higher education. DEI, which should be better called divide, exclude, and indoctrinate. The subject matter pulled a scattered mix of polarized opinions. I like the way you're looking at me right now. We're very grateful for what you're doing. And I think every person in this room is culpable. All of us. But Walters praised the work by the board calling the day a success. More details behind these proposed rules are expected tomorrow. After that, they will undergo a 30-day public comment period before they become official. In Oklahoma City, Matt McCabe, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.